इट्स अ गुड ऑप्शन डोंट गिव एनीथिंग गिव फ्रूट आइए गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ आर यू यक्ष प्लीज सिट डाउन थैंक यू देयर इज इन माइथोलॉजी यक्ष प्रजापति हैव यू हर्ड यक्ष प्रजापति इज द बिग शॉट नो मैम आई हैव नॉट हर्ड ऑफ ही इज द सन ऑफ ब्रह्मा वेरी नॉलेजेबल दैट्स व्हाई वी आस्क बिकॉज़ ऑफ योर नेम doesn't matter not so important so tell me that uh, there is a scheme called vande bharat have you heard vande bharat vande sorry ma'am bharat you have not but it's coming in the newspaper even today i'll read about it you'll read about it okay that very nice so there is h3n8 h3n8 it's a bird flu case first of its kind for the moment in chaik Have you heard about this one? Sorry, ma'am, I'm you not aware. You haven't heard. You don't read newspaper. You don't. I like read that. newspapers, ma'am. You do. Tell me. So tell me about Quad coming in the paper every day. Quad. Quad is an alliance of uh, four nations: right. India, Australia, Japan, and USA. What are they doing? Ma'am, its focus is on security in the Indo-Pacific. Okay. Apart from it, there are many other focus areas. For areas, for example, climate change, technology. in right. in covid 19 also they have initiated a covid vaccine initiative ma'am to help okay. the countries to supply the vaccines it's only supplying or they also do vaccine diplomacy like give free vaccine and they are also engaging they are doing vaccine that, diplomacy yeah, so they're trying to get the world in their favor yes ma'am right so tell me you are a uh, engineer yes ma'am civil okay. engineer civil so now you know about ai which is the common word artificial intelligence yes, right So, what does artificial intelligence do? How does it help society? Ma'am, artificial intelligence is a technology uh, which uh, uses data on a large scale to uh, take decisions autonomously. Basically, okay. it resembles the human mind, just similar so, to. Suppose I do robotic surgery. I am a doctor. Yes, ma'am. So, will it help me while I do the cut part? Ma'am, it must help, but I am not sure the exact. Exact so application. Help, in cardiac surgery, you have had a heart attack. Somebody mm -hmm. and he is put on the table. They put that robotic thing, and they, with assistance of the robot, they do the surgery because it is very definitive. It will tell you this point you cut, this point the valve is restricted. What? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You understand that? Now the uh, yes. heart has four: the upper ventricle two and the lower ventricle two. Yes. So one of them gets clogged, the artery. some pulmonary artery there the aorta and so on so one of them gets clogged for some reason for bad habits for food genetics so they that robot he points out he do it here then they put a cut and they put a stent it's very non invasive actually they don't cut a lot of it yes. only in open heart surgery they cut they Thank cut you. a lot you know yes. so you must read all this I, okay tell me there's a lot of dialogue about coal Yes, because they said the government they said no no we have got enough coal why are you shouting etc now they are saying 13 passenger trains have been cancelled only to transport coal yes because we have a energy crisis well, have you heard of this yes ma'am you have okay tell ma'am currently there has been a shortage of electricity from both demand side as well as supply side right. from the demand side uh, after reopening of the economy all the industries are demanding more electricity as well as early onset of the summers has also increased the demand of electricity from the consumer side from the supply side ma'am the international prices of coal are very high and as well as well as there is shortage of railways racks in india so supplying of coal from the mines to the uh, power plants has been reduced so that is why there is a they shortage have cut of electricity the passengers and they only will transport yes ma'am coal right yes. Okay, tell me. Lastly, have you heard of Mendel? M E N D E L. Gregory Gregory Mendel. Have you ever heard this name in history? Sorry, ma'am. You have to. He's the man of genetics. He actually introduced the human gene theory. What goes on and so on and so forth. Gene mutation also he talked about. Doesn't matter. So, Thank sir, you. Up, please put your. Hmm. Yes, sir. You are from Uttar Pradesh. Yes. Yes, sir. What is the size? Size of the land holding? So it's sixty bigas, around it, around four hectares, sir. Four hectares. Yes, sir. That means around ten uh, uh, acres, around ten acres. So he is a medium farmer or large? Uh, 
So he said, uh, uh, sir, I am not sure about the category. Okay, no problem. So, uh, tell me uh, in what way the income of your father from the farmland has increased over the past few years because there are a lot of emphasis of the government to increase farmers' income at the national level, doubling of income, it, it was targeted for 22-23. Is it really happening at the micro level as in the case of your own farmland? Have you noticed that yes, increase, there is a consistent increase in farm, farm income? So, can it, uh, for a hectare is a good size, much, much higher than the national average. National yes. average is only uh, less than uh, about uh, uh, one, 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 one point, yeah, one point some, one point one. Eight uh, yes. acres, yeah. Well, so, uh, in my opinion, the income has been increased. Basically, my father uh, saw wheat and sugar cane. Mm -hmm. The prices of sugar cane is also good. The state advisory price is around 340. Yeah. And it is yielding around a profit of 8,000 rupees per viga. Very good. So, the income has increased as well as the mechanization has also increased. Mm -hmm. we, my father now owns a tractor, a tiller, on which the government is also subsidizing a lot. So it has led to mechanization of the agriculture and the fertilizers are also easily available but today it is like there is a shortage of fertilizers but earlier the fertilizers were easily available so it has led to increase of the income sir. Okay. Now UP has set a target of 1 trillion economy by 27-28. Yes sir. US dollar 1 trillion. Yes. Right. So at the current level uh, with the current level of about 285 billion US dollars GDP. Do you think you will be able to achieve this target in the next five years? So then it will have to at least have a uh, annual growth rate of 18 to 20 percent in GDP. So what, what are the factors which the government of UP must have thought uh, that yes, with these kind of facilities, with these kind of uh, support, we can reach that level? Can you name two, three? Sir, Uttar Pradesh has many leverages mm. which it can use to get into get to the one trillion dollar economy. First is the demographic size, mm -hmm. the easy and cheap availability of the labor. Second is the availability of land in Uttar Pradesh. And third is, uh, sir, the, the current government is uh, emphasizing more on the industrialization part. Mm -hmm. So I think if efforts are put on a right uh, right path, then it can be achieved, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now recently, uh, in fact, yesterday only, Honorable Prime Minister made a remark that uh, we must provide quick and accessible justice to people using technology. What kind of technology do you see in uh, you know, expediting our judicial system? So one technology that comes to my mind, taking cue from the artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. I think artificial intelligence can be used in our judicial system. In what way? Tell me one or two ways. Sir, uh, for sorting out the cases to categorize the cases as well as uh, to do some basic research on the uh, cases. Mm, the right. judges as well as the lawyers can use artificial intelligence mm -hmm. in that way, sir. Mm -hmm. Apart from it, I think blockchain can also be used in judicial system so that, that, that there is no complaints of the judicial files, etc. Oh, good, very nice. Uh, now, in the last five to seven years, the startup eco ecosystem has really boomed in India. What are the reasons for that? So there are many reasons behind Just tell this. Me two, three. So one is the Startup India program uh -huh. on the government side. Secondly, the our universities are also uh, emphasizing more on the R&Ds. For example, IITs and NITs are emphasizing a lot on the R&D. Many research parks have been opened in the in our universities. Third is the sir, uh, more and more people are more interested in the research, and this is also culminating into more patents and the startup ecosystem sir. So I think these are the things. Have you also thought of uh, at any point of time after you completed your graduation from IIT Guwahati to, to think of a, a startup? Sir, I have been associated with a startup mm -hmm. for a few months, mm -hmm. but uh, I was more inclined towards the civil services. That is mm -hmm. why I could not take that idea sir. Okay, right. Now my last question, uh, Yaksh, you said that you were associated with the project on youth empowerment. Yes, sir. So, what is the sure shot way of empowering youth? By sir, which one action 
you can empower you. There are so many distinct, but in Europe, tell me just one which you think is the most important and uh, potent way. Sir, in my view, education and skill development is the most important factor behind the youth empowerment. Okay, sir. good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yaksha, there is a term in our terminology and in our literature, Yaksha Prashna. This is a Yaksha Prashna. Yes. Sir. What is a Yaksha Prashna? So, Yaksha Prashna is a question answer dialogue between Yaksha, who was the tutelary uh, protector of a lake in Mahabharat, hmm. and he asked some questions from Yudhishthir when he went on to take hmm. water from the lake. Very good. You have a good concern. Now, let me put a Yaksha Prashna to you. Which is your favorite question answered in the Kora by you? You answered Kora. Yes, sir. Which is what the most intellectually stimulating answer that you think you satisfied you emotionally and intellectually? Sir, from the writing side or from reading side? I leave it to you. Pick your choice. It should be convincing. Sir, recently I read a question answer from Sian Karnan, who is from US about the socialization of the children he tells his experience when he went on for uh, for having a dinner in a restaurant he saw two uh, couple who were quarreling in the restaurant sir and their children were looking at them so these small small things uh, in influence the socialization of the children and when they grow up these things uh, keep in their mind and this uh, reduces the capability and development of the children from the socialization parts I think this so is it a question or an observation? I feel it's an observation rather than a question. Anyway, we'll go to the next point of your personality. What troubles me most is that I'm a senior citizen. Constructions that came up much before I was born continue to give service even today. Constructions that are yet even to be inaugurated fall down even before the inaugural or if they do last, if the shelf life is 50 years, they collapse in five years. As a civil engineer, tell me what, what is the reason? You have heard of the Curzon Bridge of Allahabad. You have heard of so many bridges. Who are well past their shelf life, yet they are giving excellent service. Bridges that came old enough to be the great great grandchildren are collapsing. Why? Sir, the prime reason behind this is the design and construction of the bridges. Usage of proper materials in the bridges would enhance the lifetime of bridges and also the proper design, taking input from the site, for example, the soil quality and using the proper material in the construction would enhance the life of the bridges. As well as, sir, uh, there is also a term called factor of safety. If we improve the factor of safety, the lifetime increases. As we see in the ancient buildings, for example, Taj Mahal, Lal Kila, they are still surviving because their factor of safety is very large, sir. So these things enhance the lifetime, sir. Tell me one thing, you said that, the, but you never mentioned the cost of construction and the corruption part. Yes, sir. You never had this collapse of bridges and ro roads being uprooted 100 years ago. It was only happening now. As a civil engineer, don't you think that the corruption also has a major role to play in the construction work? Sir, it also plays a role. Sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So instead of selecting your words, you have to come out, even if it is an unpleasant truth, mm -hmm. let me see. Now I come to green construction. What is green construction? There is so much talk of eco-friendly construction, green construction. What do we understand by that? Sir, green construction means uh, thinking about the environment, taking care of the environment while we design, construct and maintain the building. For example, we are constructing nowadays green buildings. It means that green buildings are energy efficient. They recycle their waste very efficiently. They use automa building automation system to reduce the energy utilization. Loss. Hmm. The solar panels are used and the greenery, greenery is also used, sir. Oh. As well as in the construction material. How is the greenery used and what is its contribution to? For example, usage of uh, green plants and trees inside the buildings uh, reduces the overall temperature of the building. That reduces the uh, energy demand in the summer times. It enhances the environment of the building, sir. Very good. The place where you come from has a very interesting known name, Amroha. Yes. What is the historical meaning of Amroha? Sir, Amroha uh, takes its name from Am plus Rohu. Hmm. Am is a major crop of Amroha and Rohu is a fish. But nowadays it is not found in Amroha. Earlier there were many talabs in Amroha and there was Rohu Masli, Rohu. So it 
But this is a mismatch. What is the combination between arm and rohu? So there is no combination at sir, hmm. but the name comes from arm plus rohu sir. Hmm. You don't know the reason why it is called arm and rohu? Uh, sir, because they were the major uh, activities. Anyway, that's a different story altogether. Very close by Hathras. Yes, sir. A major tragedy happened about a year ago. And everything that should have happened did not happen by the way it should have happened. Can you tell me the major, what was the incident and what were the major administrative and police flaws in the Hathras tragedy? So there was a rape case in Hathras. Yes. And the body of the victim was uh, cremated without the consent of the family members by the police. Sir. So there was lapses from the police side. They should have taken. This is one lapse, one yes. and a major one. Any other lapses that you can think of? Sir, I am not able to recall the <coughs> details. Uh, my last question to you. Empowerment is a beautiful word. You have empowered the youth. I would talk about empowerment of the weaker sections of society, meaning the OBCs and the scheduled caste and the tribals. What are the three bullet points you would use if you were the district magistrate to empower the weaker sections of society? The weaker sections of society, the scheduled caste, the scheduled tribe. So, firstly, I would like to uh, generate the capability to education and skill development in the weaker sections so that they can more productive more productively contribute towards the economy as well as enhance their income secondly is sir to reduce the uh, discrimination against the weaker section for example so uh, sc dalit atro atrocities i would try to enhance the engagement between different sections of the society for example the festivals can be celebrated together more engagement on the panchayati raj system at the level of villages can be enhanced to generate a confidence and trust and to reduce the atrocities against would you not focus on untouchability yes sir i would uh, focus on this the strict implementation of the untouchability act anti untouchability act as well as the awareness campaign should be uh, should be the awareness. what is the act what is the act do you know the act the specific name of the act so this is scs st act 1989 hmm. the uh, prevention of atrocities what is it known as in english and hindi the full form of the act so I am not able to recall the never exact. Never mind, never mind. You are not in the police as of now. Therefore, it is good. If you know it, good. If you don't know it, it just doesn't matter. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. Hey, Yaksh, civil engineering from IIT Guwahati. Yes. Uh, what's your take on the architectural heritage that uh, we had in our history, Indian history? Sir, we have very beautiful history of our architectural design. We have made part of your civil engineering curriculum. Yes, sir. Have you undertaken any visit to any of these sites where we have centuries-old architectural buildings still surviving? Have you undertaken any, uh, say, design audit or for that matter, labor audit of uh, such monuments? No, sir. As a part of my uh, civil engineering, I have not taken a visit to any monument, but I have visited monuments from my own interest. For example, I have visited Taj Mahal, the Red okay. Fort of Agra. Mm -hmm. So, as a part of my project, I have not visited. Red Fort, it is said about Red Fort uh, at Delhi, yes, not sir. the Agra one. Uh, Delhi Red Fort, ke mein kehte, it's a feminine fort. Have you come across Sorry. this term? Sorry, sir, I am not, I'm not aware about this. Concept, okay. Sir. All right. You write for Quora. Yes. You write answers on Quora. And you also do uh, mentorship. Yes, sir. Okay. So tell us more about these interests of yours. Why sir, is it that you are pulled towards this? Sir, I write on Quora to enhance my uh, writing skills as well as to share my experiences on various issues. I majorly write on the rural society, the sociology part, as well as the, for the civil services preparation for UPSC. And as a mentorship, as a mentorship, I recently have been associated Do with... Do you prescribe it then uh, to an inquisitive mind? For example, I was just searching before interacting with you, I was just searching about this term Quora itself, yes. as, whether it is a word, legitimate word or not. 
So, if people write like this, like they do on Wikipedia, should it be used as a source material for getting uh, authentic information about it? Because it's part of your habit, you are preparing for civil services and that's why you write. And uh, I look into this as an authentic piece of information. Sir, Quora is a place where people share their perspectives and opinions, as well as some also some uh, answers on the contemporary events. But there have been questions on the authenticity of the data that is presented on the Quora. But there have been, there are some uh, options from the Quora side, for example, upward, downward, reporting of the content. And also they use artificial intelligence to, to moderate the content, sir. Have so, you heard the name of Prashant Kishore? Yes, sir. What does he do? Sir, he is into politics, sir. He is into politics, but he is... Uh, sought after person because of what because of his expertise in what doing politics sir he is a politics expert uh, to garner more votes towards the political parties sir so what is he do? strategist sir he's a strategist yes sir so i mean what's his modus operandi how does he gather data we were told that he gave a presentation to uh, a prominent national party a couple of days back and people were very impressed with the quality of data that he generated. So, where does he get this data from? Have you heard of big data? I have heard about the big data, sir. But I'm what not, is it? But I am not sure where he gets the data for the uh, no, but what strategies. is big data in general? What is big data? Big data analytics. Uh, sorry, sir. I am not very clear about this concept, sir. Okay. Uh, What's happening in Sri Lanka? So there have been an economic crisis in Sri Lanka. And How do you measure this crisis? What's the thermometer by which we get to know that this economy is in crisis and ours is not? So the macroeconomic indicators like, like fiscal deficit, current account deficit, balance of payment crisis and the growth rate, these terms can be used to measure the economic health of an economy, sir. Is it on account of these that uh, Sri Lanka is not doing well? Or there is something so else there that are you missed out. So there are many factors behind the economic crisis in Sri Lanka. What is? Uh, are you aware of the debt to GDP ratio of Sri Lanka? So total there, debt to total GDP ratio. So I am not sure about the exact uh, ratio in Sri Lanka, okay. sir. Okay. Thank you. Carrying my discussion on economy yet? So, when do you think India will be able to achieve its target of $5 trillion economy? Roughly. So, I think it will take more 5-6 years more to get to the target, sir. Okay, but RBI has, RBI has different views. RBI says that uh, it will take 12 years yes. to recover from COVID losses. Yes. So, now how do you counter this? COVID-19 has impacted adversely on the Indian economy. There have been negative growth rate in the past two years. That has challenged uh, the Indian economy. Uh, but I think I need, to, I need to read more about this uh, in the target, sir. Okay. Okay. So, I would like to know here why you are so keen to join civil services. So, civil services is a very prestigious job and uh, it provides opportunity for the civil servants to work on ground with engagement of the people for the welfare of the society. So, and also in diverse areas, in various sectors, for example, education, health. So, these things have attracted me towards the civil services, sir. Uh, you are a civil engineer, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, can you name five or seven? Marvels of civil engineering. Well, from the ancient time and medieval times, I would say Taj Mahal, Eiffel Tower are the two major uh, civil engineering marvels. From the current times, uh, Burj Khalifa, uh, the Chena Bridge in Jammu and Kashmir, Tai Pai Tower, Tai Pai 101 Tower from uh, South Korea. These are the major engineering marvels that comes to my mind, sir. So tell me what are the issues with town planning in India and why there are very less number of planned cities in India? So there are many challenges 
in the town planning in India. First is that there is a huge migration from rural to urban areas and the capacity of urban areas is less to accommodate such a large population. So this has led to uh, increasing slums and unplanned areas in our cities. The secondly is that we have our old cities, we, have, we are not planned enough uh, to uh, provide the basic necessities for the social uh, for the society, sir. This is, this is, these are the problems, sir. Okay. What do you mean by extradition treaty? And with which countries do we have this treaty and with which countries we don't have this treaty? Uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I did not. You don't know? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's talk about your options of sociology. Yes. So if we see many global indices, especially in terms of gender inequality, global hunger index, India is not performing very well. So what are the main reasons and how do we address this situation? Sir, one reason is that India is not focusing enough on the hunger side, sir, on the malnutrition side. Although government is doing efforts, but the malnutrition problem still remains in India. The IMR, the MMR, and the uh, and the nutritional level of uh, children in terms of stunt, stuntedness and the wastedness is high. We need to focus more on the hunger side. Secondly, is that the per capita income of India is low, which is counted in the Human Development Index. We need to focus more on the employment side. The manufacturing sector has to be improved to accommodate more and more people into their employment. And also, we have to we need to shift our population from agriculture towards the industries to enhance their income. And sir, thirdly, is the inequality part. Sir, in the gender inequality, there is a low status of women in Indian society. We need to focus more on that, sir, for their education, for their reservation in parliament and in other services as well, sir. So you mentioned Human Development Index. Yes. So you have been in Uttar Pradesh and Guwahati. So can you compare? HDI of Uttar Pradesh and Assam. Sir, I am not sure about the exact rankings of both the states. No need of rankings. Rough idea how they are performing in human development parameters. Sorry, sir. I think I need to read on that, sir. Okay. So, my last question. Uh, are you aware of CUET? Yes, sir. Okay, so can you highlight certain merits as well as demerits of the same? The common university's entrance test, it is said, uh, the, on the merit side, uh, it focuses on the capabilities of the student to perform better in the CUET exam. It would reduce the rote learning at the school level. It would lead to more curiosity and conceptual clarity of the students while they study in the school level as well as it will pro it would provide a common uh, level playing field for all the boards from across india these are the merits that come to my mind on the demerit side sir it would lead to more proliferation of the coaching institutes and the school the shift from the school education to the coaching institutes sir in the schools there is a holistic development of the students in terms of communication, in terms of social cohesion. They also learn various values of leadership, team building, etc. in the school. While the shifting of students from the school to the coaching <coughs> institutes would harm the overall development of the students, sir. Okay, thank you, Yash. So, Yaksha, how do you think you did it? Thank you. How do you think you performed? Um, I think I have performed average. Uh, yes. What happened? You forgot something? You got lost? No, I think I need to prepare more, more on my deaf part as well as on the economy side. Current affairs? Yes, ma'am. Current right. affairs. There's so many things happening every day. The PM has gone to Europe. He wants to meet eight countries. So you yes. should know their names. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You know, it's not one, two, three, four. The names of those countries are important. Right? Yes. Okay. Anyway, you are an IITN. So I think you have a you are a very good candidate, you are intelligent, you are tech savvy, you know technicalities, but maybe somewhere in the general knowledge you got lost Yes, by what happened here. So we rate you at 64%, but sir will add so on, yeah. please. I agree with, but how you have assessed yourself, you said that your performance was average as per your own assessment. Yes. So average uh, in terms of uh, current affairs. Yes, 
but in terms of uh, and also in terms of your energy level that was also abyss you are you are iit and so that force that assertiveness was somehow lacking in your answers you are well informed on many, many issues but of course you have to brush up current affairs and uh, uh, my questions you handled almost very well about um, so you need to work only on current affairs one second is your energy level so that you you look more energetic more assertive put yourself in the frame of a civil servant how as a dm of a district or a sp of a district or a senior officer in other service you you would you, you would be uh, talking you would be uh, indulging in conversation so that kind of tone that kind of th that you have to bring in but otherwise you are oh, this is only for improvement it is not i am not saying that you are not good you are very good in fact as madam has said it is only for the sake of improvement sir for the energy level do i need to raise my voice or a little bit, a little bit of voice and also your overall body uh, that uh, that energy level and in, in terms of uh, voice is one and then also modulation of your voice modulation of your voice and my, you you are smiling that smile part was okay smile part was okay so you see video then you will understand what i am trying to say yes it is only a question of further improvement it is not that you i i found something very uh, grossly missing not that okay but if you work on this then you 64% can uh, be uh, You, you can take it to 70 71% comfortably because you are otherwise articulation was good you you have good communication skills on that i have no issue sir right. i have no doubt that you are very intelligent you actually can easily go right up to 70% plus It's about the tone part practice when is your interview so on 23rd of may you have all the time in the world practice allow your well wishers to listen to you Because if the tone changes, the meaning changes. I yes. Sit down. Sit down. The meaning changes. Only the words were the same, but the tone changed and the meaning changed. So instead of getting something that does not suit your personality, do whatever is compatible with your personality. Yes. Keep yourself well informed. Kora is a good outlet. As also, I mean, Dev should not give the impression that I have sought not my hobbies but an escape route to evade difficult questions during the course of the interview. your def will be the foundation of 50% of have frequently ask question all possible questions and be fully prepared be the best which you are yes. and i'm sure you will get 70% yes we found you good uh, really your tutorial get up and uh, countenance very pleasing uh, but given your technical background and iit and things like that which will be looked after whenever someone asks question to you uh, i found that uh, you need to pack more uh, analytics in your answer uh, as a civil engineer uh, you let that question on architectural techniques of uh, indian history go you virtually let it go right don't go by the boundaries of the question it's a it's a ball thrown at you and you should have made the most of it yes sir you did it right that is probably what uh, other panel members are uh, hinting at i found you little reticent right so if the ball is in your court go at it with flourish okay right uh current affairs yes you need to brush up yes. and uh uh kora thing also a uh, little bit of more uh information uh should have been given when questions because two of us asked you on kora right uh big data these are expected questions given your background Yes, sir. big data. You again let it go. Actually, I was not sure about the definition part. But coming from engineering background, of course, uh, you are a civil engineer, all yes. right. But uh, IT and uh, big data is very much in. I read uh, about the so major things. Had you been a humanities student, uh, yes. it could have been pardonable. But 
an engineering student letting this question go uh, is is little difficult to digest. Uh, CUET is not common university, it's central university. Central university. Okay. So, otherwise that's okay. Uh, we wish you good luck. Thank you, sir. This is your first interview in UPSC or you have appeared before? This is my third interview. So, okay. how many marks you got in the previous two? 146. Okay. And the second one? The second was, was uh, Indian Forest Service. Okay. I got 156 out of 300. Okay. Right. So, uh, but uh, there is huge potential, huge scope to score high marks. Okay. So, overall you were good. Now, I will tell you about the scope of improvement. Uh, first of all, you answers are You are very comfortable. लेकिन जैसे उसको चैलेंज किया जा रहा है ना आप एकदम से मना कर दे रहे हो आपने बोला 5 ट्रिलियन डॉलर इकोनॉमी 5 6 इयर्स में हो जाएगी सो आई काउंटरड इट बेसिकली आरबीआई की रिपोर्ट आई है परसों सो आप उसको सब्सटैंशिएट नहीं कर पाए कुछ भी नहीं बोल पाए फॉर एग्जांपल ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट इंडेक्स आपको पता है यूपी का पता है लेकिन उसको आसाम का पूछ लिया तो आप थोड़ा सा एकदम बैक ट्रैक हो गए थोड़ा सा प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड रखिए ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट इंडेक्स क्या होता है स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग Education and life expectancy. Yes. आपको रख तो आइडिया पता है ना कि आसाम अच्छा है यूपी अच्छा है तो आप वो बोल सकते हैं डेटा में जाने के लिए कौन बोल रहा है yes. अब थोड़ा सा कॉन्फिडेंट uh, रहिए yes. कोई भी अगर ऐसा क्वेश्चन आ जाए तो क्योंकि अब तक जो इंप्रेशन जा रहा था वो अच्छा जा रहा था अचानक से दो तीन आंसर की वजह से थोड़ा सा डिप हो गया ठीक है फिर एक्स्ट्रा डिशन ट्रेटी एक बार थोड़ा पढ़ लीजिएगा अभी यूपी के पी एम यहाँ पे थे और इसके बारे में बात भी की गई है विजय मालय को वापस लेके आएंगे इन सब के बारे में न्यूज में था दो तीन दिन पहले yes, yes. तो एक बार ये देख लीजिए ठीक है एंड और पूरा पे मैं भी पूछना चाह रहा था लेकिन ऑलरेडी दो क्वेश्चन आ गए हैं तो आप एक बार तैयार कर लीजिएगा कि रेगुलेशन ऑफ सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म की कोई भी कुछ भी लिख सकता है yes. तो एक बार आप ये देख लीजिएगा इसके अलावा बाकी आंसर में यू वर गुड सिविल इंजीनियरिंग आपने अच्छे आंसर किए सिविल सर्विस आपका आंसर अच्छा था ये आप थोड़ा सा इंप्रूव कर लेंगे तो डेफिनेटली विल स्कोर मोर Thank you, sir. Okay. All the best. Thank you for the very constructive uh, feedback, sir. Oh, are you happy? Yes, ma'am. Any very. question you have? <laughs> yes. all, almost all the things have been covered. You feel good? Yes. Thank you, sir. Good. Be Thank happy. You. Do well. All Thank the best. You. All the best.